Hey there, Trailblazer. Let's explore the Trailblazer community together. This is the place to engage with other Trailblazers in the Trailblazer community, as well as find topics and groups that align with your needs and interests. In this video, I'll walk you through how to navigate the site. The community can be found on your desktop at trailhead.salesforce.com under the community tab, so right here, or by going directly to trailhead.salesforce.com slash trailblazer community. And that'll take you to this nice landing page. This has links to explore topics, find groups, local meetups, and more. So you'll see it just kind of breaks down everything. Explore topics, find groups, find in-person meetings, give back if you want to start answering questions, meeting some trailblazers. And toward the bottom of this landing page, you'll also find links to download our Trailhead Go mobile app to access the community from anywhere on your phone. So that's right down here to download. And if earning Trailhead badges is your jam, you can also click to get your Trailblazer community quick look badge right here. Highly recommend doing both of those. If you don't have a Trailblazer login yet, no worries. The landing page also ha has a handy sign up link um, so that you can do that right down here. Now let's go explore the community. The first thing you're gonna see when you go in, and I'll actually click here, join the community, just to make things easy. First thing you're, you'll see is your Trailblazer community feed. Here you can see the latest on the groups you are following, help out fellow trailblazers by answering questions. I sense a future leaderboard member. I'll show you what that looks like right here. So here are all the questions. Here you could see our answers leaderboard. You could look at your personal activity. So that's just posts that you have shared or that you were tagged in. And you can look at your favorites right here, which are posts that you have starred. By default, it will just lead you to this following and you can sort these by recent activity or created date. On the right side of the page, you will find recommended groups, topics, and trailblazers to follow. Under the community tab up here, we'll just go back to that really quick you'll find groups, topics, and events to explore as well. Once you have your favorite groups, we recommend that you bookmark them on your browser, like I have right here. And we highly recommend that you join our customer success, release readiness trailblazers, trailblazer community cove, and admin trailblazer groups. Just a few suggestions for you there. When engaging in a group, you can choose to ask a question, or if it's really just a post and not really a question, maybe you're sharing a blog or something like that, you can toggle here on the bottom left so that it's a post. If it is a question, you'll notice that as I'm typing, something in. So for example, hmm, how do I hide a field during creation? You will see a list of just dynamically populated similar questions. You might find your answer right there. So I could actually see this one hide field during creation. That's exactly what I'm asking. And I could actually open that in a separate tab. See if it answers my question. This one has a best answer tagged and everything. Um, but if for some reason it, you're not able to find your question answered in that, in that dynamically populated area, then you can just finish putting the rest of your details in here. Make sure to take advantage of the formatting options. Note that you can add images, so maybe screenshots if that'll help somebody solve your question. And you could also hyperlink text as well and attach PDFs and whatever else you might need to get your question answered. 
A few more things. It's always helpful to add a topic just to get more visibility. So here you could insert a hashtag. These are topic tags. In this case, I would put something like sales cloud, right? Fields creation, that's part of sales cloud. So I might add that. And to give it even more visibility, you can also insert mentions. So for example, I could cross promote in groups where I think it might get more visibility and maybe I'll get an answer. So I can go ahead and maybe add some of the sales cloud specific groups here. And you can see that they dynamically populate as well. So I might add a sales cloud best practices to this one just to give it more visibility and then click the big blue ask the community button. And hopefully somebody will answer your question and share their expertise with you. A few more tips before you go on your way. Be sure to set your group email preferences on the group level. So say right now I'm in the admin trailblazers group right here next to where it would say join or where you could leave the group if you're already part of it. There's also this little drop down. You can choose to have email sent to you with every post, have a daily digest of just like the top posts, a weekly digest that goes out just once a week, or you could also choose never. There's also a handy link for your global email preferences here as well. Another tip before you go, always check the group information section for relevant resources. Our subject matter experts and the people that run these groups for you always include resources that you might find helpful. So definitely explore those whenever you are looking at a group and be sure to follow fellow trailblazers and relevant topics to make sure that you never miss a post. So for example, I can choose to follow Michael here by going to his trailblazer me page and I can click follow here or message him, just see his general profile. Remember this is a social network after all, and you can do the same with topics. So let me actually go back. For example, uh, this person has added the flow builder topic to their post. I can drill into that. And if this is a topic that I want to know more about and just follow in general, I could click follow and I will receive a notification and be able to see this in my feeds whenever I follow one of these. So that's another helpful tip for you. I hope this was a really good walkthrough of our Trailblazer community and that you come out of this knowing a little bit more about it and how to use it. Happy trails.